Okay, so uh, the topic I'm going to cover, don't panic on it. It's uh, pretty easy and simple. Just quick little conversation on, you know, advantage blindness. Um, and just the whole idea that we just have advantages that we just are not aware of. And maybe we want to stay that way. Maybe we just want to go, I don't want to see, I don't want to know because I'm comfortable in my spot. And you know what? It's, it is a journey. <laughs> um, and I totally, totally get that. Trust me. It's taken me, um, a lot of time and understanding to get where I am and kind of get through guilt and shame to kind of see it and go, Oh, that's all. That's all it was. Like, I wish I had known this sooner. So this is why I give it to you. Um, I give you information to take and do with as you wish. I'm not here to change anyone's mind. I'm just here to be like, just, uh, just listen. That's all I'm doing. Let's, we're just hanging out, having a conversation. Uh, you're not getting graded on it. The only thing is, you know, there's quizzes on just the topic of just what the reading is saying. And the only reason why I do that is it's practice for your research paper. That's it. Okay. Uh, advantage blindness, uh, real quick conversation. It's just three little things, uh, denying that the playing field is uneven. Like if you were to say, Oh, everything's fine. We all have the same equal rights. We don't, we really, really, really don't. Um, I say we, not all people have the same, uh, equal rights and it's evident. You can see it in the news. You can hear stories, you know, how um, some families have to talk about when you go outside, be mindful of the following things and you must act a certain way so you don't get in trouble, right? And then some people are like, I can't imagine ever having that conversation with my kids. Like that's an advantage in its own right, right? Like the kind of conversations you have about how you act in society versus not even having to have those conversations on how you act in society. That right there can just tell you that the playing field is not even. That's it. Uh, be mindful of the fact that a lot of times um, an argument might be, well, I was disadvantaged when I grew up. I could totally, totally use that where I would say I grew up in paradise. And at you know, one point in my life, I was in a mobile home with ducks and chickens and, you know, I couldn't afford clothes, just stuff like that. I could be like, well, I grew up in a poor family. Well, yes, but society actually makes it really easy for me to be successful. I'm aware of that. Okay. So in being aware of that, that's it. I just need to be more mindful of the fact that I do have disadvantages. Um, we talked previous about, um, things like reverse racism. So you can go back and have those conversations about that. Um, the whole point of this is just going, look, I've had disadvantages, but I still have privileges that have benefited me. Okay. Uh, so claiming inequality is justified by the innate superiority of some groups over others. Kind of sounds a little racist. So anyway, be mindful of that fact. Uh, you can reread that statement and kind of focus on that and go, oh, I see. Hmm. So if you're justifying that some groups are more superior than others, um, that's a whole different conversation to kind of maybe look at. Um, but that would be again, a part of having a blindness to the advantages that we have. So anywho, to each their own on that conversation, um, ways to be better, super easy. All you have to do is, you know, own where you might have your own personal prejudices or biases. Um, you might not realize you have them until you realize you have them. And I've, I've totally done that. Um, my mom tells us that we have grown up in Hispanic family. She uses that word. Um, so I say that I grew up in Hispanic family. Um, and in that I've had trauma within family situations that I realize has created a bias within me. I didn't realize that until one time I was all, Oh, and so I work on that. I'm mindful of it. Um, uh, but that's within the family. That's a whole that's its own thing. But I'm just now mindful of it. I'm all, oh, I realize that within my family, I have these things, you know, um, that I just have to be more mindful of. So anywho, just something to consider as you go throughout your day. When you have that feeling in your chest of like a fear or a hate, go, why did I feel that? Where is that coming from? And then just maybe, I don't know, think about it. Okay. Um, Another way to, you know, just kind of be better about some of these advantages that we not, might not be mindful of is just having empathy for others. All you have to do is listen. I'm not saying change the world. I'm not saying change you. I'm just saying someone has a story, listen, and then go, oh, hmm. put yourself in their shoes. 
that's all you know you have to do it's hard this is not a journey that you do in one day it kind of sometimes takes little baby steps to kind of like break away trust me i completely understand i grew up in a you know paradise very small town you know like i had a very small mind on some things i just didn't know and then i you know went off to you know college and i started hearing stories and seeing life and i was like oh gee didn't wow that's crazy like i just was listening and i just heard you know got to know more people and more things and i'm like oh that makes so much sense and it was very hard because i grew up in a very religious family and you know there's a lot of things that were like ingrained in my brain that i don't believe anymore because it didn't align with what i was seeing so for me that's just my experience um and that's all I just was listening going oh okay that makes sense so to each their own we're all on our own journey of like where we want to be um and all we're just asking here in this in this space is just empathy for others when they tell us their story we go oh and we listen and we go okay and then again put yourself in their shoes and go how would i feel if i was there sometimes that's hard to do sometimes we don't want to we're like i'm safe in my space please don't make me change it it's too much going on i can't totally totally get it totally totally get it so that's all just listening that's all we're doing um and then uh if you have you know like putting personal advantage to collective good use i'm a teacher and so i just try and like give voices and all tell me your thing through your narrative you know here's some stories that i've heard this is what i'm giving you like um where i come from is purely from all the things that i hear and well hmm mm -hmm. There you go. All right. So that's that's my ultimate goal is to give us all a space to try and figure shit out because it's chaos and, and we're trying to figure it out. Lots of change very fast. Some people are like, I can't right now. Others are like, hey, hoo -hoo, right? We're all in like, we don't know. This is like, that's the spectrum, right? There's just, we're all in our own journey and we're all just trying to figure it out. So the more we're willing to listen to either side, the more it's it's helpful. So again, I have been on both sides on many different topics. So please know that nothing I'm doing here is trying to like make you feel guilty or bad or whatever. My goal here is just to like for us to go, okay, okay, I hear it. All right, I get it. Right. And then we go forward and that's all we're doing. Uh, and that's pretty much it aside from maybe some things like, so again, this is a big journey for some people. It's a big journey. It's been a big journey for me. It's been a long time. Like as you know, a teacher and instructor, there's a lot of things that I've been given to say, Hey, can you be more mindful of this and be more mindful of that? So I get this really cool opportunity to do the best that I can. Obviously I'm not perfect. I'm doing my best. I can't speak for all people. I, I, I cannot, but I can give you information that I have and I can feel both sides. Um, when talking about, you know, these advantages and stuff, it's sometimes hard because again, it's scary if it's change and I get that fear of change. Absolutely. Um, whatever that change might be for you on whatever side you're, you know, you know, trying to, you know, maneuver, I guess it were. Um, so one thing is just lead with empathy lead with empathy just understand every individual experience again one person cannot speak for all but it's always good to hear like what each person is going through okay um understanding the relativity of privilege like understanding where like you know i get it again while i grew up in a you know poor household that doesn't mean i didn't have advantages as i went through society so right and again not something to feel guilty over. Um, oftentimes the urge to be defensive um, or feel guilty might pop up. Just give yourself some space on this. That's not the intention uh, when we talk about advantages or privileges. That's not the point here. The idea is just to, to be able to kind of like creep towards it and acknowledge it. Okay, that's what we're doing. It's not to create hate it's not to create divisiveness it's just trying to give space for all the different voices and go okay all right i'm starting to hear it now um and you know for uh sometimes it's just a heavy thing because we didn't acknowledge it before but now we're acknowledging it and there's a lot that goes on with that right to move forward so um as long as you just go 
I don't mean to be defensive. Like I feel guilty. How can I resolve that? And just listening is all it is. Okay. Um, and then consider ways in which to equalize power. And the idea here is just framing dialogue on action. Just, you know, just little tiny steps forward for liberation, whatever that might be. I don't know. I have no idea there, you know, there's little systems that we can slowly dismantle or make, you know, be mindful of. It will not harm anybody to fix these things. It actually will not harm you. Um, if anything, it will benefit you because in the end, um, systematic injustice is not good for anybody. Like it really isn't good for anybody. What it creates in the end becomes a burden for everybody. I don't know how else to explain that without getting into wild details and overwhelming you. But when we talk about these systematic injustices that we might think, I say we, I don't know why I use that term we, uh, that people might think are a benefit to them. Like I might go and say the systematic injustice is good for me because I'm a white girl. In the end, it is not actually good for me. Um, it is not good for anybody because these injustices create, again, burdens on society. And then there's the complaint that, you know, it's not being handled. And then there's just, it gets chaotic. It's just not good for anybody. Ta -da! Super easy. Okay. Again, the conversation won't hurt you. It might make you feel a little uncomfortable, but in the end, it just kind of like touch it gingerly, walk forward and just go, I'm willing to listen. I'm willing to listen. I don't, I don't, I'm not ready to change, but I'm willing to listen. That's all we're looking for. So, um, again, I'm working really hard on, um, uh, on understanding all of this privilege and stuff. And it really is a deep journey. Um, and sometimes it's hard to talk about when you're in, cause I work with a group of, um, you know, people on this and how to be better in society. And, uh, I'm going real deep, <laughs> way deeper than this. Um, so I try and make it as light as possible just to go, hmm, okay, acknowledgement. All right, let's move forward. Okay. Um, so, uh, I'm going to probably throw in some questions later, uh, in the discussion. I, I might throw a couple questions in the discussion, um, on how we can just be mindful. You know what? Nope. I'm not going to do that. Instead, I want you to focus more on, um, Let's have you focus on the wall of fame. We're going to do that. We won't do a discussion. Um, mostly because I realize we won't have that much time for it. So don't worry about that. Okay. Um, but what I do want you to do is also, uh, we will have a quiz really quick on uh, the myths of uh, appropriation. Um, it's a good little video. I enjoy it. It's fun, quick, easy. It gives you just a quick like, oh, I didn't realize that kind of moment. And that's it. Super easy. Uh, and then we're going to come back. So go ahead and enjoy that and I'll be back in a little bit.